As you may know, Halo Reach recently had its flight program kick off for a lot of people out there. Sadly, I was not included, but we're going to go into all the details of the flighting program. How did people enjoy the Halo Reach tip of the spear mission and flighting program coming from the past, present and future of this game. Also, Forge and Theater not going to be available for the initial release on PC or Halo Reach. But will Xbox One users have a chance to play it as well on day one? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information update when it comes to Halo. Particularly today we're talking about the Halo Reach MCC flighting program and future flights coming for us guys. If you like these kind of news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys had a chance to get into the flight program. Let me know what your thoughts were of the initial playthrough of Tip of the Spear. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. Let's get right into the video here. I would also like to take the time to thank Rap Scallion, who's a follower to the channel and another Halo content creator streamer over there on Mixer, guys. He helped provide a lot of the gameplay for this video. So please make sure to go to the link in the description down below. It should be the first one down there for Rap Scallion's Mixer channel and Twitch channel. He's kind of doing a little bit of both right now at the moment, but give him a follow on there and just tell him that Kevin says thank you for helping me out because I didn't get into the flight program. So 343 told us that we're going to get a flying program in June. They just decided to wait till the very last weekend of June to be able to give that to us. And so I legitimately thought I was getting another delay. That's hence that's why I made that video Thursday night saying it may get delayed. And if so, this is what might happen. But later on, halfway through the day on Friday, people actually got a chance to play Halo Reach on PC. Now, sadly enough, I was not selected in the chosen ones when it came to being able to be part of the flighting program of Halo Reach. I know it's sadly, I was really bummed. I thought I had a good chance especially since I was invited throughout the entire process of the MCC flighting program, but I guess I just got snubbed. So over on Halo Waypoint, Sketch decided to write up an article just kind of discussing the flighting program, what the goals were for this one, and what it's looking like going forward. So what was the purpose of this flight besides just getting a chance to play Reach on PC? Well, the primary goal was to validate the process of pipelines to get builds to certain insiders on Steam and at a larger scale as well. So goal one, get the game to the people. Can we do it properly? And it seems like most of the time people were able to get it just fine. The second goal was to get a state of player feedback when it came to the current mouse and keyboard controls and how the game feels on PC. And from what I've watched on live streams and watching videos and multiple things, it seems like everyone's pretty much said like, yeah, this game feels really good to play on PC, which is a really great thing. Making sure a game plays well on console with the controller is way different than how making a game feel good on PC. Those are two very very different things and some games actually even struggle to accomplish that I would say games built in the frostbite engines particularly battlefield I feel on console plays really sluggish and slow and really hard to aim where on PC I feel like I'm a snappy one with my soldier kind of controls it's completely different night and day and I'm glad to hear that they were able to translate that feel that you have on the console with the controller to PC to have it feel like, you know, like you're playing Halo. And the last goal was to also just to get a chance to test out a broader range of PC hardware specs that the team at 343 just doesn't have access to because they're just such a small group of people. They can only test so many different types of builds where you hand it out to the people, especially for PCs where you really need betas to get a chance to test out all kinds of hardware configurations. So there's so many different kinds of pieces of hardware people can get to make their own PCs the way they just like how to do it. And so it's really great to hear that. Now I did not really hear many complaints when it came to performance for this game as well. Though it was locked at 60 FPS, so it wasn't too crazy for most PCs to handle. But I do believe it was able to go up to 4K, so that's pretty cool. And also, but most people I think played it at 1080p 60 FPS, which is kind of the golden standard on PC gaming. Now you might be wondering how many people actually got in to this first flight well less than 1,000 people got into it and participants were mainly chosen on hardware configurations when they were sent that DXDIAG info when you first signed up for your PC and sadly enough your guy right here was not part of the chosen 1,000 to be part of this flighting program which is 
Certainly saddening, but hopefully in the future flights we'll get a chance to jump in and have some fun. So I know many of you probably wanted to get in this flight and haven't been able to get into it, so you're probably wondering, well, how will I know if I do get selected for the next flight? Well, the way it works is that you get a first email just kind of telling you that you've been invited, and then the second email you get gives you the Steam key to play on Steam. Make sure you check your emails, guys. Check your spam account. Check your, uh, you know, all your different folders for the email. And I was constantly refreshing, guys. And I just never got it, sadly. Now, for the people who didn't get selected, the majority of people who signed up for the Insider Program were probably wondering, well, what happens to me? I didn't get selected. What's next? Well, they, they basically just say, hang in there. Just hang in there. This is just the beginning. We have more flights coming for our reach on PC and also on Xbox as well. As well, we got future flights coming for the CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, and Halo 4 in that order. So don't worry guys, we didn't get into this first one, but trust us, our flighting situation will improve and we'll get a chance to play guys. And you best believe I would be streaming that if I had the chance. Also for this flying program, a little bit of information coming up for Halo Reach, talking about how that the Forge and Theater Mode on PC will not be day one features, mainly because there are very complicated situations going on with that, trying to bring that over to the PC. Now, I totally understand that. Obviously, there's a lot of systems that you need to kind of rewire, I'm sure, to kind of make sure they work on the PC platform. Uh, and so, you know, totally understand that. I, I would really just have, like, just get the campaign and multiplayer out there, guys, and then we can just figure out the rest from there. Well, that's about this current flight, but what's about how's it compared to the flights for the MCC and how they, what they did differently for this one, how their flying program's gonna go for the present time and also coming in the future, say like when CE goes into its flighting program. Theater will be there day one for Halo Reach on the MCC. Now, like I said, I was accepted to the first insider program when it came to MCC and they kind of grow, had some growing pains when it came to that program and that's where this is gonna be greatly improved. They said that mainly a big issue with the previous flighting program that they had some issues with the pipeline and the game that needed to be improved before they could hand it out to in Halo Insiders. Uh, things like uh, build security, content, structure, stability, and feature related work items that were a must in order to have PC be working properly. So they can see that they kind of took what they learned from the previous flightings when it came to MCC and bring it over to the Halo Insider program for uh, Halo Reach, which is obviously great to know that they're learning from their mistakes and moving forward, which I'm sure they're gonna be learning from their process when it comes to this flighting program for when eventually we get our Halo, Halo Infinite insider program and for the present flights it's kind of along the same lines of what sketch mentioned but basically they were doing this to kind of test out how this deliver out a product to a larger audience for sure uh testing out different builds on especially on this new halo support website for halo insider which is definitely another thing that needs to be worked on certainly uh if once i get my hands on this program i'll definitely let you guys know how that process is so they're kind of just testing that kind of stuff out so when it comes to the future of these fighting programs 343 states here for the future, they'll say after this wraps up, they'll evaluate and prioritize the feedback they plan to act on. Once that is done, they'll kind of set up some goals for what they want to accomplish for Public Flight Test 2. And obviously, they have different milestones and things they want to accomplish with that, as well have a larger audience on top of that as well. But also notice that their goal is also to flight large features and game modes as they come online throughout the various key points of development. So obviously, that means that they're not going to be just testing the tip of the spear mission again like we'll probably get a chance to test out some new modes and uh just mentioning this in the blog post they showed a picture of firefight so we'll probably get a chance to play maybe even some firefight maybe in some multiplayer things like that so every time there's a new flight program something new will be brought into it to give you a reason for more than just helping out 343 but also just to give you something to play because in the future they do kind of mention about what happens when that reaches over with when it's planning what we're going to do with ce when it comes to that next flying program because there's a lot of things that were kind of messed up with CE that's on Reach because they use the Gearbox PC port of Halo CE onto the MCC, which that game had a lot of bugs when it comes to bump mapping issues and lighting issues and things like that. Um, actually, Late Night Gaming made a fantastic video kind of breaking down all the different issues with the MCC version, Gearbox PC version of CE compared to what uh, the original version of Xbox was. Uh, they asked actually one of the uh, developers out there asking, so like, uh, what are your kind of goals? Maybe rework some of the visuals when it comes to CE. And they said, right now that's not exactly targeted when it comes to the launch on PC here. But they do say that 
look to continue to investigate the issues so hopefully make CE back to where it was on the original Xbox and how it performed on that. So basically they're saying our main goal is just to get the game on the platform guys, but if we can, if we have time, we'll try to change some things up. No guarantees on that, uh, totally understandable though because uh, obviously, I know a lot of people are probably looking forward to playing the CE on PC. I know I certainly will be as well, uh, but because uh, I never really got a chance to really play full online matchmaking on that game. I mean, I can now on uh, the X on MCC, but the population is so low, and plus I just like to play it on PC. And so it totally makes sense that they would just be like, no, we just want to get this game on the platform first. That's our main goal. And if we can fix some things, we certainly will, but that's not guaranteed. So I totally understand that. That's everything when it comes to the flighting program, guys. The next video, we're going to be talking about the legacy game types and maps going to be ported over into MCC. We'll get into that next video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well. If you're new to the channel, want we'll to stay up to date with anything Halo related or check out that video I'm going to be making up next talking about the legacy maps and game types can be added in through file share your file share onto the mcc make sure you tap subscribe as it keeps you up to date with everything going on in halo guys if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now i'll catch you all in the next video peace out